Hi, I'm Joel, at home chef dad, and today we're cooking up some salmon. Um, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about shopping for uh, salmon or shopping for fish, but I should probably do an entire video on uh, shopping for fresh seafood. But one thing that is always number one for me is does it smell? And if you walk into your fish market, or grocery store and you can smell where you are you can smell fish then you might want to find a new place to shop for seafood so when you're gonna make this dish and your salmon stinks or doesn't look good then your final dish is probably gonna not taste good as well so so we are going to pan sear the salmon I'm gonna do a little salt on the salmon and I'm gonna get the the flesh nice and crispy, get a great salt crust on the salmon. But I'm gonna serve it with a, a sauce or a glaze that's uh, made very simply with tamari. You could use soy sauce if you like. Try to get a good quality soy sauce. It does matter. Uh, but I'm using tamari, low sodium tamari. I've got some honey. I've got some coconut cream. You could use uh, coconut milk, but you kind of want that creaminess and the fattiness, so try to steer clear of the uh, low-fat versions. Of course, this is also unsweetened, too. And then I've got some ginger, some scallions or green onions, and the secret ingredient. This is the garlic confit, which I did post a video of uh, a few days ago. I'm going to use some of the garlic in the sauce but I'm gonna saute the salmon in the oil. And optional, if you want a little heat at the end, got some red pepper flake. Of course you need salt for the fish, so let's get this going. In fact, the sauce is so easy to make that I'm gonna make the sauce while the fish cooks. So I'm gonna, and everything will be finished in here. I'm gonna serve it over some rice. Generous seasoning of salt to taste, but uh, that's the only side I'm going to season, so I put a nice amount. Also, this is about a six or seven ounce fillet. Skin off. You can use skin on. Uh, I just happened, I just decided to take the, the skin off this time. Oh. Oil from the garlic confit. about a teaspoon it doesn't need much pans nice and hot I've got my salmon seasoned with salt and I'm gonna lay this down uh, flush down and I'm gonna cook this salmon about 90% of the way on this side I don't want to blacken it but I do want a nice golden brown thick crust salty crust on my salmon And this will take about, I don't know, five, six minutes total. The great thing about cooking fish or salmon is you can actually watch how cooked it is or how, how far along the cooking's going because it'll just start to change colors down there. And the key here is I really want to develop a nice, deep, golden brown, salty crust on the other side, on the flesh side. That texture um, adds so much depth to the dish, it's amazing. And it holds up to the sauce when you pour it over. So while that salmon cooks, let's get the sauce going. I'm gonna take some of those nice, soft, tender, Cloves of garlic, about three of them. Give them a little smash. And 
we need about a quarter cup of tamari or soy. About a quarter cup of honey. I always eyeball the honey. Always find it too much trouble to get it out of a measuring cup. And one of the tricks, whenever I do a marinade with honey, I like to throw it in the microwave. It makes it a lot easier to work with. 20, 30 seconds in the microwave really helps that honey dissolve into the into this tomorrow. To this, I'm going to add my coconut cream, which is about six ounces. Sometimes the coconut cream can have some lumps in it. That's okay. When it gets in the, the skillet, it'll all melt together. Tell that crust is looking great. That's what you want to see. I'm also going to add one scallion, finely chopped, whites and the greens, and reserve a little bit for the end. And of course, I'm going to grate a little ginger into this. Ginger can have a really strong flavor, so kind of use as much or as little as you want. And that's basically our sauce. So now we're going to check our fish. When the fish is about 90% done, we're going to pull it out, put the sauce in the skillet, and then put the fish back in to finish. Let's take a look. That's what you want to see right there. So I'm going to set this aside. The fish is almost cooked. If you got too much oil, you can always remove it. That oil is flavored with the salmon and garlic. I'm going to leave it in. I really just want to get this sauce warm or hot and reduce a little bit, just thicken up a little bit, make sure everything comes together. Another thing to be careful, if you're using a non-stick skillet, be careful what you're using. I'm using something I should not use, but I'm being very careful with it. So I'm going to let this reduce for about two minutes. After about two minutes, I'm going to put the fish back in and let it kind of come together for about another 90 seconds. And this dish is done. So I'm going to get a bowl ready for some rice and get ready to eat. Okay, so it's starting to really thicken up a little bit. That's all we want to see. So I'm going to get the fish back in, but I'm going to leave The nice salty crusty top above. I don't want I don't want that to get soggy. We worked really hard for that crust. So I'm actually eating brown rice with some quinoa in it today. I'm trying to eat a little healthier. Fish down. Is this 
it's not. And let's get this sauce. green onion and if you like a little heat you can add a little bit of red pepper flake Let's see how it tastes that crust looks so good Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so the flavors are so good. Such a simple dish too. Well, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna have another bite. The salt crust is so crispy. so good okay it's time to stop I'm gonna finish this in a minute thank you again for watching I really appreciate it if this is your first time drop a comment below let me know where you're from and for those of you guys that keep coming back I really appreciate your comments your likes and uh, feel free to share these videos with anybody you like have a great day